Sydney Mills. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's just pray. Father, we lift these seed offerings your people have given. God, we honor you today for your favor, your grace, and your blessings upon them. May this seed multiply a hundredfold. God, may you bless them. We honor you and we praise you today. We pray for the offerings your people have taken, have given. Father, may you bless and use the offering for your honor and for your glory. To you we give all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Lighthouse. Good afternoon, Lighthouse. And God is a good God. We had a good service today. A great word. I am special to God. I don't know about you, but I am special to God. And I don't take anything for granted. I tell myself more, a lot about my specialness to God. I want to thank God for passing the message. I, I didn't know if the pastor would have... Where is pastor now? So, okay. Um, and this morning he said, you know, I, I told him I, I want to get out early to church because I don't want to miss life hour. And he said to me, um, you know, well, we, let's pray before you leave. So I scrambled him and said, let's pray. So I know y'all will smile. You know, treat your, treat your spouse right. We treat your husband right. We treat your wife right. And make this thing a, a real blessing. I thank God today for who he is and who he is in my life. Um, this has been a good week, a tiring week, and the week's coming up. We're trying to, to finish as much as we can so we're going to have enough, you know, relaxed face on the anniversary. And so this is Lighthouse. This is Lighthouse. We want to welcome back William, who was in Guyana. William, good to see you. Don't you all know who William is? Stand at him and see you, William. And when you all see him, please greet him. Make him feel special that he's at Lighthouse. Welcome back, William. When he was in Guyana, he called me several times. And we just want to know we appreciate and love you. Um, we want to get to the birthdays. Do we have any birthdays today? Do we have anybody celebrating your birthday today? Could you stand? Let's see who you are. Wow, Clifford, my Cyrillion brother, Brother Clifford, we want to bless God for you, and please step up, shake his hand, and let him feel welcome. Clifford, please feel welcome at Lighthouse. He's a part of us from day one. He has never, never stopped. When others walked, he stayed. So we bless God for you, Brother Clifford. Y'all shook his hand. Y'all give him a hug. Come on, Lighthouse, we got to do better than this. Okay, let's sing the song. We can't do this, brother. Brother Clifford, come up front here, man. And um, This is our Sierra Leone, the only gentleman we have here from Sierra Leone. So we want to celebrate this. I look at him in his African outfit. We love him. His wife is in the back. His wife is Sister Jean, and she's Jamaican. <laughs> this is the worst to say the amen. Let's sing the happy birthday song, Sister Juanita. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Come on, make the gentleman happy feel special. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May God bless you. May God bless you.
Hallelujah. We just want to thank God for Brother Clifford. Brother Clifford, I personally celebrate you today. And thank you for your support right through the years of Lighthouse. Just want to make one announcement before um, I bring on a special lady here to us today. April the 17th to April the 23rd, we leave John F. Kennedy Airport on the 17th midnight, and you arrive in Guyana on the 18th morning at 7 a.m. for the Guyana first year celebration. Big things happening in Guyana. So that you will know that because when you go to the, um, the Welcome Center, I don't think you're having that information. It's right here today, the 17th to the 23rd of April. You leave Guyana on the 23rd, 5 o'clock, and you arrive in New York about 11 something, 12 o'clock. So you arrive here in Maryland Tuesday morning, so you know their time. Please plan to attend our first year anniversary in Guyana, Sister Jean is smiling. I know you're going again. We had 12 the last time we went, and I'm hoping that we could have more than 12 going this time. Okay, church? Yes. Sister Brown is on the other side. Sister Brown is smiling. She's going. So just want to get that announcement out. Now we come to the other part before we bring Juanita on. I come Sister Tanya. Sister Tanya by Fields. This Fields has an S. Field. Why you all tell me it has an S? Somebody said it has an S. Now if somebody says no S. Tanya, no S. Good. Sister Tanya Byfield, very special lady to us. Um, when we left the place we were at, the other church, when things happened in 2008 and we came here over to Lighthouse, this church started, there were some things that happened. One of it is, and we are very mindful and careful and very grateful is that many of our, um, we ca I call them seasoned people, over 60 and over, came with us, supported Pastor Cameron and I in this church. I always wanted something that we would show appreciation and celebrate this group of people. And today, February the 4th, is when we launched that ministry right here with all our, our silver celebrants, that's what we call them, silver celebrants. I'm part of it, huh? So don't don't get or don't think otherwise. I'm very much a part of that. Pastor is not a silver celebrant because here is black. I don't know why it's black, but it's black. I know it's not fully black, but it's black. My, mine is black, white now. So um, I'm thanking God for the silvers. So we decided that we're gonna honor you, celebrate you with however we will do it. Now I know some of you had a little cold feet because you want to know. Come on silver celebrants. Sister Cameron will not put your private matter out there. I don't want you all to tell me anything but privacy because we're not going into private matters. We want to celebrate. You all go to clubs. Sister Swaby I know goes to a club and she enjoys her, yes, Brian, club. A, sil a silver club, yeah, club. And she enjoys her moments. But Lighthouse, we want to do the same for you. So we have things that we have planned for you. I will have Sister Tanya, who is part of this group. She will tell you a little bit of what, what we will do and who we are. We met with them, so you're going to hear a little bit from Sister Tanya. Good morning, Lighthouse. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So Sister Cameron finally got me to come up here on the stage behind this camera. And like Lisa Nichols say, with knees knocking, I will do and be faithful. So on April 4th, like she said, Lighthouse established a Silver Celebrants Ministry. This ministry is to honor the lives of all of our senior adults. Um, how can you join? You can, um, 60, age 60 and above is who's qualified to join the Silver Celebrants Ministry. And our focus scripture for Lighthouse Celebrants Ministry is Psalms 37, verse 25. And it says, I was young and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. Amen? Amen. First order of business was to create a legacy story of the lives of our senior adult and lighthouse ministry. We, um, we want to know your stories. We want to know your experiences. We want you to share your wisdom and your 
learnings over your life journey with us so we can better our lives based on your experiences. We'll be calling on each of you who joined the group to just kind of sit down with us, get to know us. We want to get to know you. We want to hear your story. Sister Monette was brave enough yesterday to open up her home to us and allow us to just kind of sit down, have lunch, and just talk life with us. It was such a wonderful experience. And afterwards, she called me and she told me that she enjoyed it and that she had such a good time just sitting down and sharing her story. I understand that a lot of you island people always say, I'm very private. I don't want to share my story. I don't want to hear one people to know my lives. We're not doing this to pry into your life. We don't want to, you know, dig into your business and spread your business to the world. We want to know what lessons you've learned over time, and we want to know how we can apply those wisdom to our lives to improve each of our lives here at Lighthouse. Um, also, <coughs> as you can see, there's some pictures that we took with Sister Monette yesterday. We had a video. We weren't able to get it up on screen, but one day we'll be able to show just a synopsis of you know, her views, um, what she's learned over time with her permission. We won't share your story unless it's something that you want us to share. Uh, we did a little, just a short video, a promotion video about how she felt about Lighthouse, what she's learned over time with being at Lighthouse and how much she loves her dear pastor, <laughs> her son, as she says. We're, so like I said, that first phase it was we're going to be calling on you, we're going to try to schedule meetings just to sit down, just to ask you a few questions. If we ask you a question that makes you uncomfortable, like she said, plead the fifth. If you don't want to talk about it, pass on to the next. And actually we had a list of questions and we didn't even have to ask her half the questions that we had. We, we had asked her a few questions and she just basically told her story. It was. We were visiting with her, we were laughing, we were having a good time. This is what it's all about. We just wanna share life together, live life together. So this is what the Silver um, Celebrants Ministry is all about. Thank you guys for listening and we hope for your input. We hope for your involvement. And if you have any suggestions, any recommendations, anything that you would like to see that comes through this ministry, we're open to suggestion. You can suggest it to myself, Sister Cameron, Sister Winsome, or Sister Carol, who are all members of this committee. We praise God, and we hope that you guys will get involved and help us to make this ministry a success to serve you as we serve Christ. Amen. So, get ready. We're going to be visiting with you, with, and then we want to have um, some special sessions where we bring you here and do some things for you. For instance, we want to teach you how to use that smartphone you know we buy expensive phone and we don't know how to use it sometimes i'm guilty of it too so we want to teach you how to use that so that nobody can tell you say no man y'all y'all you, you know y'all whatever people we don't want them to say that to you anymore <laughs> i see dana smiling so we want to do things that's one of the ideas and so it's not about asking your private life please get it out of your head because i think there are three persons saying that to me and i don't i don't like to hear it because we're sensible people we're not going to come and dig into your life we're not doing that but we need to hear from you what are you what legacy you want us to have of you when you leave these shores let me let me back up a little bit by saying this when we went a system on it she said sister Cameron, you know that one i plead the faith right that's what she said so you know, you're, you're free to, we, we weren't asking her the questions, but she already said to us, because we have a way of asking some, where were you born, Sister Esther? You're not 60 yet, but I can say, where were you born? Send kids, right? And so those are the little things we need to know. How, what was some ex excitement about life growing up? Can't you share that with us as Uncle Auntie Zori, Uncle Barrio? You could share, I mean, they were sharing some of their life stories with us so that we could avoid some pitfalls and the younger ones we criticize them we condemn them but we don't want to tell them some things about us and it's easy you know where you know sister Cameron is tell you everything because I found out in the United States once you're living here and you have that information going there and in any government institution your information is out there your information is right out there know when you're born know your age know who was your first husband or your or whatever they have it all the years so t trying to tell me your privacy this country don't have no i don't think anybody is private in this country anymore 
So those little things are pri supposed to be private to you. We're not talking about that. We're talking about other things about you. So when you go to these other institutions and you, you know, for the elderly, they do a lot of things there with you. And we don't complain. Now, let me say this to us here. Our kind of people, we ain't got too much information about anything what happened in the past or how we could better our future because our, our parents, my mother, was very secretive. And I said to her, I said, well, you can talk to me because I need to know why this, why that, why the other, and she did. So, you know, we have to leave something for our young people. Before you criticize them and condemn them and all of that, we need to leave something for them. So as a lighthouse, I want us to be um, grateful, celebrating you and making you feel special at times, Miss Winter. Don't make your face like that to me. I see Miss Winter making your face, right? <laughs> Miss Winter and I are, right? Don't worry about Miss Winter and I. So I want to thank God for the Silver Celebrants. That's the name of it, Silver Celebrants. We're celebrating you. Sister Brown is on the Silver Celebrant, huh? <laughs> Sister Brown has got her fancy here. So we want to bless God for you. And at this time, I'll call Sister Juanita. And this is not just for our, our church, you know, seasoned elderly. It's for all people from the community who would visit with us and who we will, because we're partnering with the, with the police department, so you may, you may very well see some other people come in here and, and, you know, and celebrate with us our silver celebrants. At this time, I'll call on Sister Juanita, who will give you the rest of the announcement. And lunch is provided for lunch today, so please don't leave. Join us at the City of Lighthouse, slide number 41, please. On the first Friday, our children, Little Beacons of Light Children's Ministry meets right here at 7 p.m. under the leadership of Sister Keisha Richards, slide number 53. And our family life enrichment happens also on the first Friday as announced. So if your child is between 4 and 13, we encourage you to bring them on the first Friday of the month where Sister Keisha will do instructions with them and they have their own time to play. Sometimes the children come to church and they're you know, agitated, they don't wanna sit in the service, but I thank God that our Lighthouse children actually sit in the service and they're here today. So we have a forum set for you on the first Friday of the month. The first Friday of um, May, which is the 4th, 2008 at 7 p.m., there's gonna be Family Life Enrichment uh, Program I'm not sure what exactly is going to be the focus, but the couples had asked to meet again, and so the 4th of May is going to be your next family life enrichment. If you're a man and you come to Lighthouse, Titus Men of Light is for you. Number 55, Titus Light of Me Men of Light meets every second Friday at 7.30 under the leadership of Elder Lenward Isaacs. He's not here today, he's at work, but he's watching online. Hello, Brother Isaac, so hope you enjoyed the service today. If you'd like to get involved, I wanna encourage you to talk with Brother Isaac. He has many ideas and he welcomes your ideas as well so that the men in church can come together and support each other. It's good when men come together, amen, and dwell in unity. The Virtuous Ladies of Light now, they meet on the second Friday as well, and they meet here at 7.30 and the women's ministry have been doing different things. And so if you are a woman and you come to Lighthouse, I see many women, slide number 54. I see many, many women here in church this morning. So if you're, come, if you're a woman and you're coming to Lighthouse, we encourage you to come on to, life, to Virtuous Ladies of Light on the second Friday at 7.30 as well. So what we have done is streamlined our auxiliaries so you can have a little bit more time with your family and different activities you want to do. So the men and the women meet on the second Fridays of the month. The third Friday, number 60 and 62, is our prayer vigil. Prayer is so important. We invite you to join us in prayer at that hour of the night when different things are happening in the occultic world. We are in the house of God, storming the gates of heaven, pushing back the forces of darkness because we have the potent power of prayer. So if you are able to come, we encourage you to come. It starts at 7, at 10 o'clock. Go back to 60, please. It starts at 10 o'clock in the evening, every third Friday. We're not telling you stay until whatever time you come. Spend an hour or two hours. Spend time praying. If you must go, we, we're not offended by that. But we do want to come together and do corporate prayer. 
We learned about the different types of prayer when Pastor was preaching in his recent series. And corporate prayer is very important. So if you can mark your calendars, the third of every month on the Friday, 10 p.m., it's a monthly prayer vigil. We're trying to resurface our youth ministry. Since we've left the school, we have not done anything for the youth ministry number 56. Because we have been so focused on building and getting in our building and getting ourselves situated. And so now we have leveled off to a great extent. We want to reach out to the youth and the young adults in our church. When the seasoned move on and they mature and they expire, the young have to step up and take on the mantle and continue the legacy. So if you are a youth between 14 and 17 or a young adult between 18 and 30, the fourth Friday when there is no encounter rally, we will meet in church for fellowship. We'll, I'd like for us to meet for the first one, which is going to ha happen in April, and so we can discuss what we want to do on a way forward. We were to do it last week and nobody showed up. So I'm giving you another opportunity and I'm gonna reach out to more persons. Now we'll come together. We don't necessarily have to meet in church, but our first meeting will meet in church and discuss what we want to see happen. How can the church support you as a youth or as a young adult, all right? So the fourth Friday when there is no encounter rally, we will have Shining Lights Youth Ministry meeting here at a church or wherever we plan to meet. Amen? It's 10 years, Lighthouse. We have come to 10 years, and God has been faithful. He has been so good. We celebrate this goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ for us a Lighthouse. We are the light of the world, a city on a hill not hidden. No matter how they try to put the light under a bushel, the Lord illuminates the light more and more. So much so that we are now adding affiliates to our church. We have two branches and we're having, what, four affiliates. So we are growing by leaps and bounds. And these are in answer to the prayers of our overseer. That the Lord would cause us to rise up and to spread the gospel. We're not going to look at just the numbers because Sister Keisha and Sister Karen and I are in, on, you know, on the Bible app, they have different devotional plans. And we were looking at a devotional plan, a lifestyle of a worship leader. And the one for yesterday and today talked about many times the worshiper or the worship leader looks at the faces of the people or churches look at the numbers. When God doesn't really want us to look at that, if you do what you're supposed to do in your life, demonstrate that, then it's a ripple effect. So if each of us in here for these 10 years we've been in existence, our life demonstrate that light, then the Lord will do the work of bringing in and winning the souls and winning the harvest for us. The harvest is ripe. But the laborers are few. So are you willing to be a laborer in this harvest field? It's 10 years. It's time for you to get involved. Find some way that you can give back. You can shine your light to the whole world. And then men will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And so we have many great things planned for you for the 10th anniversary celebration. And today I'm going to only highlight a few of them. The first one is the bus ticket and the bus trip is sold out completely. If you missed it, I'm sorry. You'll have to catch it the next time. But all tickets are gone. All seats are gone. Not just for us, but for sight and sound. But here's the thing. Today is the last day to make your final installment. So I want you to listen to me carefully. Please do not be offended. If you have not completed your payments, you've only made one installment. If you looked at your little yellow paper, we put a disclaimer on that sheet. You know when the commercials go, they got the fine lines and nobody reads? We had a fine line. So this is the thing, we have a waiting list. If you are not sure you're gonna make it or you can't complete your payment, please let the Welcome Center ladies know because we have persons who would like to go on the trip. So if you don't think you're gonna fulfill your payment or your commitment, let them know in the Welcome Center. Be a good steward, be a brother, be a sister, and let someone else go who is willing to pay for the seat. We, we wouldn't feel bad because you weren't able to complete your payment, but we don't wanna hold the seat that, and then in the end you say, oh, I can't go, and you change your mind, and someone else could have gone in your space. So today is the last day for your ticket and your seat payment. If you have not paid it, please make sure you visit the Welcome Center. Visit the ladies in there. They are wonderful women of God. They will work with you if you need some kind of arrangement, but make sure that you visit with them because, God forbid, your seat is forfeited. 
please do not, do not come back and feel like we throw you out. We didn't. We want to accommodate everybody. Amen? Praise the Lord. Thank God some people still like me. Whew, that was a close one. So our bus trip is completely full. But we have a little promo video just to get those of us who are going excited about what we're going to see. So AVM, it's an easy worship YouTube video. And so while Brother Brian is making his way to the back to like make sure we get audio, which we do not have. You know, I really tried with AVM today, but uh, Lord Jesus, help me. Help me, Lord. While they're doing that, you can go to slide number 2124, Denisha. We have a, a work day. A work day is coming up at Lighthouse. March 10th, slide 124. The 10th of March is going to be a work day at church. What's this work day? You see the lovely chairs you're sitting on? You can hold it. Hold it, please. Slide number 124, work day. We're not going to be in confusion. Slide number 124 on the PowerPoint. Not an easy worship. One, two, four, work day we're talking about. This work day, we're asking men, 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 man, man, men, hombre, hombre, brothers, hermanos. We're asking for all of the men to come out, number 124. On the 10th of March, yes, thank you so much. God bless the AVM. Woo, yes. On the 10th of March at 10 a.m., we are going to have a work day. And what's this work day? If you look around, this carpet has been doing a lot of work. We haven't been able to lift up the chairs, clean the carpet. So we need some manual labors. Women are always there. I'm not even calling women. We are here by default. But I'm imploring you men, please, on the 10th of March, we would like to clean up around the grounds. We like to vacuum all of the chairs and vacuum the carpet inside the main sanctuary. You'll notice the new carpet over there looks lovely. Don't worry, this carpet is from a different cut because everybody keeps asking why it looks duller. So it's a different shade, but it's the same carpet. But we do need to vacuum the entire sanctuary, lift up the chairs and do a vacuum. Also, we like to do the hallways, polish the hallways and wax them. So we have a dedicated work day for us to come. Women, men, children, you're all invited on March the 10th to come on out. I'm sure hospitality will provide us with something wonderful that we can eat. Amen? I got the signal that they're ready for the Jesus video. So sit back and look and get a taste and see if what's coming up for us on the 17th of March. For 40 years... We've brought the Bible's most powerful stories to life on stage. Stories of courage. Stories of love. Stories of faith. Now, the adventure continues. Spring, Sight and Sound Theaters presents the greatest rescue story of all time. Thank you. I can just imagine what that's going to be like in the big theater. So those of us who are going, we're in for a great treat. I'm hoping that many of us really grasp the concept. We know that Sight and Song makes it theatrical, and they may add a little bit, you know, to make it the storytelling. But it's going to be phenomenal. I can guarantee you that. So today is the last day to make your payment. Please, please, please make your payment and welcome center. My last announcement for today, it's right there in our Easy Worship. Holy Convocation Week, we are going to have a great time. We had wonderful seminars over this month, and we're looking forward to what's to come, the 20th through the 23rd. So we have uh, Reverend Alex Graham, who is going to be our convener, and the very far end will be Dr. Wood, who is going to be with us for that week as well. We thank God for him, and he's coming in particular to help us to establish our Light Institute for Empowerment. 
all of the training we do, we have done it through our Light Institute. And what's beautiful about it is he's the president of the Georgetown Western U University of the Americas, the long name. Georgetown Western University of the Americas. He's the president. He's coming to adopt our institute so we can have accreditation and, and in time become a full-fledged institution where we are accredited of our, on our own. So we are looking forward to our first graduation of our first set of Bible School Scholars Stay in Easy Worship. And then on the first night, on the 20th, it's going to be Pastor John Goddard, who is from Love, Faith, and Hope. He's coming as an affiliate to join us in Lighthouse. Then Reverend Ruth Lee's no stranger to us. She's the lead pastor for the Guyana branch. And then we have the chaplain of the United States Senate, Chaplain Barry Black. He is going to be here on Thursday, our consecration day. Lighthouse now has a ministerial board or office of many officers who are serving in some capacity in leadership. And that day, I want to encourage you to invite your friends, your family to come and celebrate with you. And then on the Friday night, we all know the boom. Apostle Ezi Boom is going to be here with his team of people from Toronto, Canada for the Holy Convocation Encounter Rally. There's going to be a special artist called AJ Ryan. If you have Facebook, you can go and check him out on Facebook. AJ Ryan, he's a young dynamic worship leader. He looks like Jamani. I think that's your name, Jaman. He looks like, like Jamani. So he's very young, very hip, but loves the Lord. And so he's going to be here on the 23rd, in addition to Pastor Ezi Boom and all of the wonderful things we have planned for you. So I want to encourage you to mark your calendars. If you do not have this information, it's on our church website. We've printed flyers, and if the flyers are done, you don't have to worry about getting a printout. Go on your phone, lhmiinc.org, and you can see everything that we have announced here in church. And so the very final announcement is on the 25th, which is the Sunday after the whole week of convocation, we are going to have our 10th anniversary service. It's going to be the next one in easy worship. Our 10th anniversary service is going to be right here. The doors open at 2 p.m. And our keynote speaker is none other than our very own Reverend Dr. Oswin Cameron, who is our overseer. Yes, you can put your hands together for him. Easy Worship Denisha, the next clip under that one. Our overseer, Reverend Dr. Oswin Cameron, will be bringing an on-time rhema word for us as we go into our next 10. So I want to encourage you, invite someone. If you need an invitation, please see Sister Paris. Sister Marlene Paris, so, oh, she's bending down. Sister Marlene Paris has been a very good um, APC, Anniversary Planning Committee Chair. She will get you an invitation if we have available. So if you need a special invitation to invite someone, please see Sister Marlene Paris and she will make sure that you get an invitation. Those are all the announcements I have for you. We have brunch prepared for you in the fellowship hall. Happy Black History Month to everyone who has been in church this February, everyone who has celebrated, who has recognized the victories and the triumphs of the African American, which is American history. So we want to wish you a very happy Black History Month and pray that God will continue to push us forward as African Americans in this country. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done. I'm going to call on Pastor and Sister Cameron to do the uh, Republic uh, recognition of the Republic of Guyana, I almost feel like I forgot where I'm born. <laughs> the Republic of Guyana, formerly British Guyana. So could we stand as we, uh, with humble hearts and head bow, heads bowed down. Guyana celebrated 48, 48 years uh, as a republic, and we do it in fine style with Mashamani and all the different things, but we want us to just stand as we, um, Guyanese, you want to come up? No. Okay. No. Pastor Cameron. Come to see Yvonne. I know you're proud of your country. Come on. With humble hearts and head, but but a bunny. You weren't born in Guyana. You were born in America. <laughs> so.
since if it, when it's Jamaica, as they say Jamaica, they just start walking with Guyanese, you know. We, with humble hearts and heads bowed down. With humble hearts and heads bowed down. In thanks for each new day of toil, we kneel before thy altar, Lord, the children of Guyana's soil. Great is the task that thou hast given, thy will to show thy truth to fight, to teach ourselves that we are. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost, rest, remain, and abide with us until we meet again. Take us home safely, bless the lunch, in Jesus' name, amen. Don't move, Guyanese, don't move, we need a picture of you, don't move. Amoya, uh, Lorianne. Sherry, why are you not in this picture? You're born in Guyana. <laughs> you gotta be in this picture. 